starting a new vlog right now. I'm just having a studio day, honestly. Hey bud! Ready? Whee! Who's that guy? Who's Mr. Schmoo? Who's that? Say hi. Hello. I'm Rimmer. I was feeling like such a schlub and I was gonna fully go into the studio just, just being schlubby. And then I was like, no, you promised yourself you were gonna try and get ready when you go to the studio so that you feel you feel good! You feel good about yourself and you feel good about your day. So yeah, I just wanted to intro this vlog by saying, hey, I'm starting a vlog and um, I'm gonna try and make a ton of plates today. I'm in like my plate and plate. I'm in my plate time, not era. Plate time. Okay, see you in a minute. It's already been a bit of a hectic morning. Sarima held her baby to Grammy on a huge walk. I wanted to film the plates yesterday, but I couldn't find my camera anywhere, so I gave up. But yeah, I'll show you what I made yesterday. The big reveal. Double layers. Got some drywall. I had to leave in a bit of a rush yesterday, so I think this like kind of lost its shape a little bit. I always forget that like you, you can't really see them until they get fired. But just some flower themes. This is actually really dry. I probably should have covered them more. This one's not bad. This one's really dry. So actually I will trim this first before I uh, make anything new. If you're interested in plate stuff, I have like some more info coming soon to the internet, but I have a drywall board and some weights just to keep them nice and flat while they're drying.
my timer for 15 minutes because I'm taking a break. I only made like three plates today, but that's fine. I have some green mugs that I want to trim, but they're just drying out a little bit more. I just felt the rims and I could still move them a bit, so I don't want to trim them just yet. And I'm currently looking at picnic tables online. I really want to put a picnic table in the backyard. I want to have barbecues. I want to host people in the summer. I have like this grand vision of even maybe doing a little more work from home in the summer, aka hand building in the backyard would be just so great because then I could also hang out with Remy and also just be outside and be at home. I'm just so excited for summer. I'm just feeling very optimistic. It's also so sunny out today and nice, so maybe I'll trim these. I'll end work a little bit early and just go home. Maybe do another big walk with Remster. Snow is starting to melt. <laughs> I'm so excited to be home. Remy, do you want to say hi again? Remy, can I pick you up? Can I pick you up? Yes. Good scoops. Taylor is going to bike home from work today because it's so nice out. So it's just me and this Remster. Don't mind my dishes that are soaking in that pot. Shameful. Um, look away, Mom. Say hi. Can I get a paw? Yes. Yes. And can you Good boy. The birthday sign is staying up until my birthday. It has been decided. It sounds like about half of you are here just for Remy, so, you know, you're slowly turning into a star, and I know that's a lot of pressure, but don't let it go to your head. I'm gonna make a ton more plates today. Today's just like another plate day. If I have time, I'll try to make a couple cups. I'm gonna try something different with these cups because I don't even know if I put it in, but I had a lot of stuff break in the last batch that I made. If you watch the Get Ready With Me for Market video, everything you do with ceramics, it's all based around timing. The time in which you decide to attach things, how long you let it dry before you attach, all that stuff is like crucial. So yeah, we're gonna try something new. Still haven't gotten a pot for that guy, but I just put a plate under it because it, the plastic was just not looking good. It made me like really sad every time I looked. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm meeting Brooke for breakfast and then I'm gonna help her make a little mug, so that'll be fun. <laughs>
but Brooke does. <laughs> <laughs> we made these mugs. We had a little lesson Rooney. A lesser Rooney. Look at this beguiling mug. This is absolutely beguiling. I think I did it's quite a good just job. Absolutely beguiling. Until you look at yours, then mine's less beguiling. No, yours is just as beguiling. <laughs> very dark in here now because it is the afternoon and I don't get any light in here in the afternoon but I got a sweet little tip from someone in the comments the last last video maybe two videos ago when I was complaining about wedging stain into my clay and she mentioned that her professor will mix stain into slip so I have some reclaim that was already green I added a little bit more stain to it so now it's very green and I'm going to reclaim it and then hopefully I'll wedge it into some white clay and I'll just need a little like not too much and it won't be as much wedging as it normally is. I got this, it's supposed to be a plaster bat but it's not very even so my ceramic supply store gave this to me for free when I was buying some stuff. They were like you can still use it for reclaim it's still totally gonna work it's just like not flat enough to actually use on the wheel I didn't show this because I never really film in my bathroom because the lights just awful but I basically have an immersion blender that I use only for the studio and that's how I mix my glazes but that's also how I made this reclaim like really silky smoothie I maybe should get another one for just glazes so that I don't like cross contaminate them I'm excited I and I put okay let me let me show you what I did so I put the plaster onto the lid of a bucket just like for overflow because again this is like flat there's no edges and so I'm a little bit worried let's just pour it on and see what's up and I just have this mini spatula that obviously is also only for studioing. I'm just gonna spread that out. I feel like I'm like icing a cake or like making a pudding or something. And these are just the trimmings from my green mug and like any plates and anything that I've made. Oh, okay, it's been like three hours and look at this. Whoa, crazy. I'm gonna flip it. It is a totally different day. It's probably like a week later. <laughs> um, but I'm wearing the same outfit I was wearing at the beginning of this vlog because it's an overalls day, an overalls week. <laughs> it's an overalls week in the studio this week. I'm getting ready to just load a bisque kiln. All these things are drying, dryingly. Brooke came by and painted her mug that she made, a little pinch mug, I made one too just to kind of do as a demo. And I painted it with a little snaky. Yeah, got lots of stuff waiting to go in the kiln. I'm gonna pack just two orders that I have to go out. And then I have all these stuggers painted. I just need to add like the stripes and the glazed flowers and little details. This is where I'm stockpiling stuff I have ready for market. I am burnt out. I'm excited to do this market, but I also, every time I like am leading up to a market, I'm like, damn, 
why did I put all this pressure on myself when I could have just done an online drop? But actually, I love talking to people, so the market will be good. <laughs> As you probably saw from the title of this video, we've got four days till market, countdown to market. I don't know what I'll end up titling it, probably something like that. Um, here I am sitting with all my tech, lost my dongle, can't use this, something new that we're excited about, uh, but I forgot some things, some accessory parts at home, so can't use this. <laughs> and I'm excited to have this little furry mic guy but because I forgot the other thing at home it can't connect so can't use this um so we're on my <laughs> regular camera today today is Tuesday market starts on Friday I'm going to go meet my booth partner for like setup logistics on Thursday today is the big kiln unload day and then also going to Ikea meeting up with a friend for coffee I don't know what else I need to do that's gonna be fun to film, but I will need to sand everything that comes out of the kiln, price everything, take photos of stuff, because I'm trying to get better at taking photos of stuff before it just like goes away with somebody else and lives its happy life in a new home. I was having a lot of glaze issues actually with this batch in terms of like applying the glaze, so I'm really, really nervous to see how it comes out. Um, yeah. I actually had a new display built for this event. to Ikea. I'm gonna become an orchid mom and try to follow my grandma's footsteps and just be like queen of orchids. I was thinking it would look so good in one of the pots that I made. I'm like completely shook in a good way that everything came out <laughs> like exactly as it was meant to. I had two pieces where the underglaze kind of chipped off a little bit but okay this pot is too big. Or even like a really small cup. The rest of today I'm just going to take to organize and sand everything. Just all the butts.
vlog a little bit this morning, but I was running around like a chicken with its head cut off. Just got bits and pieces here. To go along with my new wood display, I got some little birch panels. I was gonna try and maybe like stain them or paint them to match before, but I don't have time. So they're just gonna go as is. Just to add like a little bit more height throughout the table. And I was thinking like, I could put a plate on this one, you know? I could put like a mug on this one. I think this is a four by four baby birch. Or maybe the vase can go on this one. Anyway, I just thought it would like help shake things up. And I also picked out some plants for the planters that I have. I got three four inch little plants from the plant shop. And I do have four planters, but I think one of them I'll just leave empty because as soon as someone buys one, you have to like move it into another pot anyway. I'm just writing down all the prices now. I'm pricing everything as I start to pack it up, getting it ready for tomorrow when Brooke is gonna come scoop me up in her car and we're gonna drive to the venue, unload, I'll bring my trusty wagon. I've only shown really like bits and pieces of what came out of the kiln, I think at this point, but I'm really, I'll just take a second to talk about them. I just did like obviously a bunch of tigers in this new teal green color. I'm obviously feeling this teal green hard right now, which you can tell from all the mugs and the tigers. And then I did like a lilac purpley tiger and some pink tigers. I really thought I was done with tigers, but um, they're still calling to me. I still feel like excited when I open the kiln and they're in there. so. And then these ones, I don't know if I talked about it yet, but I have been calling these museum mugs because they just, the way it's just like two rectangles reminds me of like paintings hanging in a museum. I'm very drawn to landscapes, obviously. I mean, I haven't like really posted anything about them yet. You know, if all goes well and everything sells at market, my plan is to just make kind of the same things plus some other new stuff that's in my brain for the next online drop, which will be at the end of May. I'm just like so excited about these plates. Maybe I'll bring one over to show you. I definitely already took video of them so you would have seen them, but... I'm so obsessed. Imagine you're sitting down for coffee and you're like, oh, let me just grab my dish set. And it's just a freaking cute plate and a cute tiger mug. I can't even handle it. These are colored porcelain. You saw me working with them. I may have called them stoneware before. This is actually porcelain. I have been working with porcelain for the last year and a half, not knowing that it was porcelain. I just discovered it the other day. It's funny because I was chatting with someone about it and they were like, oh, you're like lucky you didn't have more problems with it. And I was like, it's probably because I like wasn't scared of it. Typically in the past, I've been quite scared of porcelain just because I've heard it can be tricky to work with, but maybe the whole like going in with no fear is what has made it so successful so far for me. Fingers crossed that continues though. Slurp, slurp. And I only drink from the Lululemon bottle. <laughs> it's only pink bottle. Thank you. 